What's up? It's your host, Tara Chantel. I just want to know what your bank account looking like. And I ain't talking about that savings account. I ain't talking about that checkings account. I'm talking about that spiritual bank account. How it's looking? Is you racking? Is you stacking? We are so focused on that physical checking account, but are we depositing in our spiritual bank? Are we constantly investing spiritually into ourselves? Because we are going to run into different obstacles every day. And the devil gonna try you. The devil will try you. But if you are not spiritually equipped to when you get tried, you're not gonna act emotionally intelligent. You are going to act out of bounds and you are not going to act accordingly how God presented this obstacle in front of you. We all are gonna get tested. Every day we are gonna get tested. We talk a good game like, oh yeah, I'm ready, I'm spiritually equipped. But then when the devil gets sent your way, how are you gonna act? How are you going to react? How are you going to jump over the obstacle that tries to get in your way? Because if you have been investing into yourself spiritually, you cannot be moved. Your emotions does not have the best over you. You are able to control yourself and handle things accordingly. Now, that goes to show, are you investing into your spiritual bank account? We are so focused on the grind, the hustle, getting to the bankroll, that physical dollars, but are you spiritually ready for when you get tested, when you get tried? And trust me, you are going to get tried. People are going to try you. Obstacles are gonna to try to slow you down. Distractions will come your way. Are you spiritually ready for when it comes? Are you spiritually able to be in tune that this is a storm right now? but I know it's gonna be a rainbow after this. Are you spiritually aware that we need rain in order to grow, for the flowers to grow, for the grass to become greener? Are you spiritually aware that you have to become resilient in order to obtain your best self? Are you spiritually investing in yourself, your health, your mindset, and your heart? What's your heart looking like? Are you cold hearted? Are you a savage? Are you only caring about self right now? What's your heart looking like? Is your heart pure? Or are you still cold hearted? Because you've been tried so many times, now you have trust issues. Now you can't trust nobody. Or do you understand that your heart is a gift from God and you are gifted to be kind hearted. You are gifted to be kind. You are gifted to be loving, to show others that God exists, that true love exists. Are you that example? Because if you are that example, you have been tapping into your spiritual bank account. We can't put our focus onto this physical checkings account, this physical saving account, and not investing into our spiritual bank account. Because if we are investing spiritually into our spiritual bank account, we are not going to be phased what is going on in the world right now. We cannot be moved. We cannot be shaken. We can control what we can control, and that is ourselves and how we react to the world. We can be in this world, but not of this world, not consumed of this world and not be a consumer, not indulge into the negativity, not indulge into the fast food, not indulge into anything that will tarnish our character due to the chaos, due to the mess, due to the drama. If you have been investing spiritually into your spiritual bank account, you ain't phased out here. Your mindset is equipped for the spiritual battle that we are facing every single day. When you understand when the test gets presented to you, you gonna pass. You ain't worried 
about the obstacles because you understand life is not going to be perfect. Things are not going to go your way. But as long as you show up every day to your call in life and you understand that you can't control other people, you can't change other people. All you can change is yourself. All you can change is how you react to things. You understand that the best investment is investing spiritually into self. Getting up on the knowledge of your spirituality. That bank account needs to be overflowing. Investing into your spiritual bank account, you have abundance of mindset. You are never in lack. You understand the power you have within yourself. You understand that you control your reality. You understand that you are the controller of your destiny. You control this. You call the shots. You are the CEO. And you're not waiting for nobody to give you a handout. You are creating moves for yourself. You are creating opportunities for yourself. So you are not depending, begging anybody for anything. You understand your power. You understand your purpose and you understand your value. And once you understand your value, now you are going to attract the value that you have. And people will understand that spiritual glow that you have. Yes, you may be beautiful on the outside, but how you looking spiritually within, how is your character? How is your morals? How is your value? Are you leading by example? Because if you are leading by example, you are investing spiritually into your spiritual bank account. You deposit in every day spiritually into self, spiritually making deposits. And now you overflowing with success. You are overflowing with wisdom and understanding when the tests do come, the test will come, best believe that. You are going to pass every time. We can't worry about what's going on with things that we can't control. All we can control is making them spiritual deposits to our bank account. Not just putting it into your savings, checking account physically. Are you investing into your spiritual bank account? So when obstacles do happen, trials will occur you are going to have the emotional intelligence the spiritual wisdom to tap in the inner god within yourself the power that god has placed within you to create a better reality to the situation that occurs that is so important to invest into your spiritual bank account not just your physical bank account Make sure you tapped in spiritually because you have to become resilient. You have to obtain the energy to get excited every single day because you know your purpose and you know the reason you are placed to do amazing, extraordinary things. You are the glue that holds all of this together. Once you understand your spiritual bank account, it ain't all about the money. How's your God wisdom? How is your intuition? Are you able to hear God when God is speaking to you? Are you able to see the signs when God presents them to you? Or is your vision blurred? Because you got distractions all in your way. Because you in the negative spiritually. Your spiritual bank account is in the negative right now. So God can't even tap into you. Or you can't even tap into God because you're not spiritually equipped and you're not overflowing with abundance within yourself. Tap into that spiritual bank account so you don't be phased out here, you not moved out here, and you understand that you can control what you can control, and that is having a positive attitude. It doesn't mean that life is going to be positive, but you understand that it's not gonna be Skittles and rainbows, Things will happen, but you're going to make the best out of every situation. And it wasn't an L. It was only a blessing. It was a blessing in disguise. 
it was a lesson learned and you can learn from it you can grow from it and now you can deposit that lesson that blessing into your spiritual bank account overflow spiritually overflow spiritually get that spiritual abundance in your bank account you depositing every day making deposits left to right left to right god wants to speak to you god wants you to lead by example but how can god reach you when your account is in the negative deposit today overflow today gain the abundant mindset today start today i love you it is your host tara Chantel. Self Love Manual is available right now on Amazon. Check it out, subscribe, leave a review. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm gonna see you at the top.